Hey Leos, and welcome to your end of November love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Leos. All right, check out my description box below for all the details on how to get a reading and all that fun stuff. All right, Leo, what do you got going on the end of November? That's one too many, one card please. try this again. We got cards all over the place. Okay. Thank you. Mending. So you do have um, 52 breaks down to a seven. So you do have some sort of um, heartache that needs to be healed. Some sort of uh, wound that isn't um, quite healed yet, needing to take that time to um, really dig deep and see what it is that is still affecting your everyday. Um, there needs to be some forgiveness, some sort of making amends um, or a healing after or healing after an argument. Because each time somebody hurts us or that we are hurt, and allow that hurt to pass through us without understanding um, why it happened, without the integration of adding it to our arsenal of wisdom, um, we start to accumulate like this unwanted burden. And this really keeps us chained to the very things that we need to heal from, the pain, the memories, the echoes um, that, you know, quote unquote, haunt you at night. Um, there's resentments and arguments that we rehearse over and over and over. Um, but now it's the time to mend those rifts, to heal your wounds, to let go of those old hurts in order to really reclaim your power. And now is the time to do that, to forgive, to release, to make peace and um, amends to others. Because at the end of the day, when you do that, that is how you truly set yourself free. Um, in a in a relationship, you've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary if you want to move forward. Um, separate or together, you and the other person are still experiencing the effects of um, the hurt that you guys shared. Um, and this is really impacting everything you do, uh, Leos, even if you're not aware of it. So this energy really needs to be cleared up. Um, what you need to do to bridge this gap is really... Uh, you need to find that power to heal this wound because closing down, closing up the heart is not going to work. Um, only good will come out of this forgiveness and um, some honest uh, like reevaluation of your feelings. Uh, if this is in work, there's, there's a message here that everyone makes mistakes. So especially when you want something really bad, um, things happen. So you may come to realize that after chasing some sort of job or chasing something that you thought was everything you wanted and you lost sight of that long-term prosperity, um, or sometimes you make a choice that looked good at first, but it leads to a loss or a failure. It's time to forgive yourself and others for that happening. Don't blame anybody else. You get a start again, but this time you're going to be more wiser more mature because the journey to abundance can be a bumpy road. So anyone that you've heard along the way, um, even yourself, you have to make those amends. Forgive those who have taken advantage of you. Let go and learn from this um, because right now you are closer than ever to achieving the kind of prosperity that really fulfills you. And um, that's what's keeping you from getting that. So There's also something about heartbreak here. Heartbreak truly is, in an odd way, the healer of our souls. Our grief really strips away our masks and loosens our tight hold on our um, separateness. So loss allows us to see ourselves as part of a larger scheme. It opens us up to a new level of um knowledge of wisdom it helps us ascend to that higher level because in those difficult lessons of love um there is a true lesson in there that you're meant to take with you that you're meant to share with other people as far as the wisdom gained from it and it's really um just one of the building blocks to who you really are 
So it's time to mend um, all those hurts um, and take that wisdom with you so that you can um, share it with others. Ooh. All right, Leos. You could be really connecting to your higher self, to spirit at this time, um, doing it in silence, healing, and um, finding that beautiful healing through your higher power um, is what's going to bring you a lot of success as well. All right, Leos, third week of November here. Oops. Let's see. You guys have death. There's that transformation. Some of you could have lost um, a loved one uh, if you haven't already you won't. I'm just saying this could have already happened in the past and you're needing to heal that broken heart from somebody um, that you lost. Um, yeah, in the past, there could be some lingering um, heartache that needs to be addressed. It needs to be um, dealt with here. But for the majority of you, uh, this is a deep transformation. This hurt that um, was caused in your life in the past is truly making you a different person, transforming you into the person you're meant to be, um, moving forward, leaving all the bullshit behind and, um, you know, rising with the sun for another day of, you know, whether it be a battle or not, um, you are going to come out of this uh, a better person. Uh, let's see what's the queen of swords. Yeah. Cutting yourself away from anybody who does not serve your highest good. For some of you, you're dealing with a mother figure. For others of you, you're just taking that more cold approach um, to that healing. But some focus needs to be regained. Um, don't miss. Uh, yeah. Don't miss an opportunity because you're focusing too much on the past, too much on the hurt, because there is something right in front of you, this big cup of abundance that is trying to get your attention and um, it, you're not able to see it right now because you're focusing on the past. You're looking back at this person that hurt you. Um, the queen of swords has been through some shit. They have been through some heartache, some hard times, and but they come out dignified, wise, and ready to love again. Um, so it's asking you to embody that energy, whether you're male or female, it's time to rise above the ashes and take life into your own hands because, or your happiness, I mean, because the universe is right here wanting to give this to you. This heart just needs to be mended um, and released of all this toxicity. Um, there could be some overthinking here. There could be some addictions that you're dealing with, some sort of toxicity that, uh, that has been influencing your life. You could be tied to somebody that's very toxic to you and has caused you a lot of hurt and pain. And even though it's going to take some time, you're going to get there with that prince of or a princess of pentacles. All right, let's see the last week. We will get clarifiers on these as well, Leo. So please stick around. The last week in November, you have the seven of cups, the two of wands. So a lot of confusion going into the last week of November. Two of swords in reverse. Thank goodness. Three of Wands right after. One more card, please, for Leos, the end of November. What do they need to know? Thank you. Nine of Swords. Bottom of the deck is that Strength card, what you don't know or see coming. It is clarified with the Princess of Swords. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is underneath that, so there is some light at the end of the tunnel. There's prosperity coming in, to, in for you, but some healing needs to happen. So... Let's go back up to this death card. What's this transformation about that Leo is experiencing? This difficult um, feelings that you need to address to to heal, feel, and then put or feel, heal, and put away the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody could have abandoned you. Somebody could have walked away from you, Leos, and that really devastated you, really hurt you. Um, somebody also could have could just not be spending the time that you need. They could be juggling their energy between you and something else, someone else, however it is. But you really felt abandoned and left behind, neglected in the past. You are transforming yourself from that energy. Um, no longer going to be left out in the cold. Uh, you are taking this approach um, and getting out of that situation, realizing you know or you deserve better than um, what you've been receiving in the past. Why is this Queen of Swords here for Leo? Please tell me more. Why is the Queen of Swords here, Leo? All right, you got the Five of Wands. Too much competition, too many outside sources, too many mouths telling somebody what to do, um, telling somebody how they should feel. 
you're no longer putting up with it. You are removing yourself from the, um, from the fight. You're tired of fighting for somebody's attention and you feel they just think it's a game or something. See that one guy back there laughing. Um, you're, you're too mature and, um, you're not wanting to play the junior high games, which is what this person seems to be doing, um, in your energy in the past. Uh, this is what you're needing to heal from the three of cups. Yeah. So you could have been thinking about happier times. You're really focused on the good that was in the relationship and not what the bad was. Um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just there to remind us, look how far you've come. What do you really, really want that? Because it wasn't, you know, perfect when there could be something better out there for you. You had a lot of good times, but you're successfully moving away from this toxicity. The obsessive thinking, the worrying, um, somebody who didn't treat you right, the, the toxicity in your life, you are successfully moving away from the tower in that chariot led by the universe um, and you're moving on to the star which heals heals your heart brings you balance and wish fulfillment um the princess oh my goodness the princess of pentacles here just a uh, wow ten of cups ace of swords eight of wands and the king of swords i'm gonna put them back because that's way too many i'll be here forever but what is the Princess of Pentacles here offering Leos? It's it as long as you take baby steps, it don't matter how big your steps you take, as long as you're moving forward, you're gonna find this healing. Um, two of Swords, needing to make a choice with a page of wands, receiving a message. You're needing to make a decision about where to go.